Hi, Phil. Yes. So as a good example, I guess if you go into the sliders folder, you can take a look at each different page. This is really what this folder is for. Not necessarily where you want to use these um, right off the bat, but it gives you an example. Like you can obviously create copies, but at least you can see what the different sliders look like and do. All right. So the full screen slider, which is here, as well as used for the index page, if we take a look at it, you want to get rid of the dots and whatnot. And let me just pull it up in a browser here. These lines and dots and things like that. Yes, you can. And if we go into the library folder here, the sliders, and then we go to the full screen slider right here, open up the library page. Like so. Flip it to code view. All right? See where it says vertical line? Yep. And top shadow. Those two things are the covers or the things that add lines and shadows and things like that to the full screen slider. So you can get rid of the vertical line, you can get rid of the top shadow, then you can go down to the next one, you can get rid of the dot light and the top shadow, and then down again and the horizontal line and the top shadow. Those are just different classes to you know, provide some different sort of look uh, cover for each image. All right. Let me go back to your question here. So, don't necessarily want to use the default slider so that the clear picture is a way to make the full screen slider without the lines dots. Yes, there is. I just showed you. Okay. So, how to make other copies of this feature named something else flow throughout. Okay. I wasn't sure about that. Next, the supersized slideshow. There is no library page for that. The supersized slideshow, if we take a look in the pages, in the library there is a supersized slideshow and it only contains the working files. It doesn't contain a library file and I'll show you why. Because in the supersized photo show right here, or slideshow, photo slideshow it's called, you flip to code view and right here are where all your images are loaded in. Okay. That's the first image right there, and that's the thumbnail version of the image. I recommend you use the same link for both. That way it saves you a lot of time. You can create different thumbs for the picture, but the way I've set it up here for you is, here's the first image, right? It's actually in the library, in the sliders, in the supersized slideshow folder, images, right? So in other words, although the library right here for your soup, that's where your images are kept right there, okay? But we don't use a library page for it. I tried that. It just wasn't worth it um, because there were certain script issues that I found uh, with libra the library page. It just uh, it was better not to do it. So I just put the code all in here and the files that run it in the supersized slideshow folder. So the only thing you need to do with this one here is open up the photo slideshow page, flip it over to the code view, and then here are the pics here and I'll send you a link to the tutorials <coughs> as well so I think uh, yeah so let me know if that answers your question